Hello. <coughs> hello. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, confirm, whatever. Eh, b b b b b b b b b b b b Steam camera. Hello. 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 Welcome, everyone. Welcome. No one. Uh, no, there's actually a person. Hello. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Today we're gonna uh, we're gonna work on a cell more. Ah. <laughs> I like. I don't know. Like I I feel so tired. The last four months were spent on editing, and now you're telling me I need to once again work on some application for a video. I hate a cell. We love a cell on this channel. Um, yeah. Hold up. Boy, I have the music player, and it's really big and annoying. I'm gonna put it right here. Well then. Today, I do not have a webcam, which is not good. Studio mode, overlay screen, camera this, camera that, and mwah. Well then. So yeah, to those that did not get the memo, SLTM, SL translation, like as you want an application for translating. That's what we're doing today. Or I guess I can also use this shortcut. Whatever. SL translation magismo. Magismo. So today I want to work on the preview window. Oh boy, this is on the preview window. Let just let let the application open first. I have buer milk right here. Buttermilk and a piece of bread. My life is so amazing. Just the idea that today we will have to work with Unity makes me sick. Okay, yeah, this is what we made the last time but today we are gonna actually work on this thing so when i open up the application crap Hmm. This is not good. Why are you null? And it was this. Something is null here. What what could be null? This no, this cannot be maybe it can, but the I am confusion. What? Why are you doing? Can't you just work? For the love of. Uh, enable debugging for this session. Back in me all the days, you, we did not have to enable debugging for session. It was always in debug mode and everybody was happy. And John Ricatello came and shook the place. Ah! Okay, am I now connected? Hopefully. Or maybe it will recompile scripts for the seventh time. We'll see. Wow, this sucks. Uh, excuse me, why didn't you break points? That is... Here. This is... Okay, this is null, but this can be null. What is null? Oh. 
Thank you for following. Thank you for following. Holy garbage, you, you just made my heart explode. Thank you, Mokiros, for following. Holy crackers. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, how many? 98. I'm not looking for all of this. You are going to be kidding me. Uh, where is the second error? Oh no, this is a. This is a Lin Ku. It's gonna be horrible. I, the application doesn't work. I have no idea what's even going on. It's saying null instance of something. I don't know what. Is it this? X. This is not null. Defines. Oh, there's a third one. It's called. No <gasps> I know! What was that noise? I think mean, it's the follow sound. Yes. That's how you kill a man. Okay, I know what happened. I deleted the file. Oh no. Oh no. What are we going to do? Anyways, uh... Transaction manager. Right? No. This, here. It's missing something and that's not good. Done, I fixed the problem. Voila! I'm incredible at my job. Okay. So, to recap, we have SL Transaction Magismo. Why is it... We have SL Transaction Magismo, which is an application for translating Magismos, of course. And we have it... So pretty much how it works is that instead of having a bunch of files, how SL normally structures it, you have a bunch of entries which you can translate, and then that exports uh, it to the preferred format. So you can actually also export backwards to an older version. Excuse me, OBS. What are you doing? Hello? Hello. And uh, why are you lagging? What, what what encoding overload? How did you get SL running in Unity Editor? You see, this is not SL. This is a screenshot. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Please, please. Just what is go what is going on? This is literally just UI. Why are you running this horribly? Excuse, please do not crash my computer again. Because that happened last time. Oh boy. Uh oh. Please, my mouse cursor is not moving. Oh, 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 oh. What is going on? What is causing this? I closed Da Vinci. Every time if, if there's a new update in SPSL, there have to be something to mess up, such as like V-Sync or lag spikes. Yep. Anyways, can I please get, get out of play mode? Okay, okay, I managed to pause it, okay. We are not enabling debug mode, no thank you. Still lagging. Oh. Switch to the release mode. Episode Satan. I have to have a server computer to run a cell in Unity Editor. Exactly. But this is not a cell. This is a screenshot. Or not a screenshot, it's a modified screenshot. So pretty much normally, or not normally, this doesn't have anything. Okay, if I were to just disable all of these. It's a modified version of... Okay, I have no idea what's been going on here. Uh, here. Yeah, so pretty much, this application fills out the text. And, please, okay, we're gonna... We're gonna try again. We're gonna press play. Please do not do whatever you did last time. Okay. So, as you can see, when I select the servers, then... It will not work because I forgot. If I select social media, it will select Hikar Janitor because I was dumb. And if I change something in here, hello, it will update accordingly. Yay. But. It's the problem. This is only the main menu. Uh oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 
What is going on? Please get out of play mode. Hello? Holy crackers. What is going on anymore? Could you please at least pause the thing? Oh? Oh, here we go, here we go, another frame, another frame, oh, 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 oh! Encoding overload, please turn down your settings. Shut up, OBS. Application does tick. What is... Okay. Anyone in the chat know what's going on? This ran like butter last time. Huh. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do a game theory. We're gonna... Uh, please, stop lagging. You're out of play mode. What is going on? <laughs> PC lag? Yeah, I did not notice, you know. My mouse is moving at one frame per second. Oh, okay. Shut up. Task manager. I have OBS set to high priority. My computer is dying. It's not only OBS. What you are seeing is live footage. But I don't know. Is, is Da Vinci running in the background or something like that? No, it's not. Why is there so many Microsoft Edges? Piss off. This is just, this is just getting rid of malware. Thank you. Okay, performance. Let's see the performance. Disk 0D. Why are we being so used so often? Unity, what are you using? Absolutely nothing. Lovely. Okay, this is this is on top. We're not <laughs> we're gonna profile. Oh boy. Uh, where was this? Analysis profiler. Rather, I'm gonna I'm gonna place it right in here. Okay, please do not crash. This is probably going to heat up. You know what? I'm gonna, just gonna take off the side panel just, just, just to be sure. I remember the good old days where we had to blow on our computer so that SL would run faster. Everything is running normally, but somehow when I zoomed in and zoomed out, things started going wild. Nope, still normal. I always change text. Nope, still normal, still normal. Still, still normal. Uh, 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 memory! Memory! Okay, now please stop. Unity, stop. I pressed the stop button. Thank you. What has started doing happening in here? Piss off, piss off, piss off. Why did it spike up so much? What is it? <laughs> that is weird. It's such a... I never had this happen anywhere. Editor loop. So, uh, top 10 reasons why not use Unity. The editor doesn't even work. Yep, I'm gonna just restart it, you know, don't save. Okay, like, seriously, if you say, oh, Unity is a bad engine, shut up, you don't know anything. But if you work with Unity, you know, their editor is just, a, it's just, it's just something. Something else. Piss off. Bleh, bleh. Huh. I press. I. Disappear. 
I'm pressing the red button. Thank you. Texture memory. Nice. <laughs> okay, please. Piece of malware. Open. Thank you. But I don't know why, but every single time I shut down Unity Hub, it tries installing something. I'm not sure if it's an update or whatever, but I say no. Because when I saw the, the newest, like, or maybe not the newest by this point, but there was an update where now you need you need to specify an organization when making a uh, Unity project, which is just dumb, even if you don't use their online analytics. Uh, sequencing... Ta no! I'm dumb. Uh, analysis provider, please do not explode. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, never mind. I wanted to do something fun today, but today we're gonna figure out why is SL, uh, SL, why is Unity exploding? Ah, uh oh, my music stopped. This is not a good sign. Let me! Come on! Editor loop 99% total. What were you doing? Well, it doesn't tell me because why would it? How hard is it just to change UI text? Well, for Unity, it's just. 12.36 gigabytes of what? Texture me lovely. I felt like maybe there was, because I did some things with serialization, maybe that was the case. Texture memory? Huh? Who? Oh, this is a cell, I think it's fine. The ghost of a cell continues to haunt us. 12.4? I am so... Okay, you know what? Google, Google. Oh boy. Unity editor la editor lagging when runtime video memory or texture memory texture memory. Maybe you're changing the text so much they're flying the extra. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Here. It's texture memory. Oh no, his texture memory is ridiculous. Those are size between import things or quality. Oh, piss off. I have no images. Why is there such a long delay? Okay, never mind. I just click the blue one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Piss off. This is not supposed to happen. There should not be 13 <laughs> two gigabytes of texture memory. What? Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's, that's, that's just common knowledge. I d what did I press? Editor using too much memory. Thank you. Okay, here's a naked model. That's lovely. 
Yeah, yeah, whatever. I swear, if I build the game, this will run like butter. Could you please check what is commit memory size of the editor? What? Memory prefer cartridge commit memory size. Twelve gigabytes. Lovely. <laughs> the, text the render texture part might be a bug. Simpler as twelve. Mm -mm, this is not good because I really need render textures. Ha uh ha -huh. ha! Hola, hello. Okay, so we got how this works. As you can see, this is a white square. Normally, the UI displays here. It doesn't because here's a camera. This camera displays this thing, and then this, and then displays the texture on the canvas right in this white square. It, so turns out. Unity has a bug, has a bug. I, I don't know what was it caused by because it worked fine previously and suddenly it says no. You're remaking menu? Yes, but not only. <laughs> you work for another fo <laughs> Okay, so here's a quick rundown, uh, except with, without launching this application because my computer will die again. So. This is SL Translation Magismo, which is an application for making translations for SL. So pretty much, instead of using whatever the weird format is, you open it up, you, you select different elements, you translate them, and you have a live preview of what's happening. And in the future, you'll be able to do this. Huh? Uh, excuse me. You would be able to translate this. So, uh, yeah, you would be able to click this and it would highlight. However, you have decided today that it will use 12 gigabytes of my video memory, uh, sorry, my RAM, and, and then make my entire stream lag for absolutely no reason. Can I obtain the source code? Not now, not yet, but I will make it public later. Or maybe it's public already, I don't know. If you check my GitHub, then you can lurk around. Can I grill my bread on your PC? I think your PC is like microwave. Ah! <laughs> Every PC is a microwave, depending on if Antichid likes you. Okay. We're gonna do a Game Fury, we're gonna do a Game Fury. We're gonna build this piece of garbage. Uh, you know what, sure, player settings, this is gonna be 3.0. We're gonna build the 3.0 version, because why not? We'll see, because currently it says that the editor is using a lot of memory, but we'll see if, or actually no, it didn't say that. Just said it's using memory. Okay, we'll see if we build the game if our, all of our problems will go... It will not. What is this supposed to mean? Oh, I'm not supposed... Okay. Oh, okay, I see what's happening. Apologies, apologies, apologies. I ran out of buttermilk. <laughs> Should not be capturing when there is a hot control. Let's go! I love this error. It's my favorite error. <laughs> it's safe, yeah, you know, whatever. I'm right looking behind the hole. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna. 
I'm working normally now. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I think it's the, the, it should be fixed now. Okay, sorry, what's here? I say, oh, no, no, that's a big no, no. We do not do this. If Unity Editor, then don't do this. Oh yeah, I know the whole stream is lagging behind, but I'm not sure how I can fix this easily. I said we start the stream, but I don't want to do that. So apologies. Blame it on Unity. Blame it on Unity. Blame it on John Ray Catalog. You know, screw. Blame it on Hubert. Blame it on Norfolk. Blame it on Norfolk. All of your problems. Blame it on Norfolk. Holy crackers! Oh, that's lovely. My donor is broken. Okay. We are going to launch this application. Yeah, hello, hello. Let's see if it will absolutely demolish my computer. Social medias. Yeah, yeah, I'm using an application. I am happy. Hey, yeah, hey, will you crash? This does absolutely nothing, but it looks cool. This does absolutely nothing, but it looks cool. Actually, I'm not sure how will I do like previews because I want to have a way of an application like having a, you know, seeing an alternative version. Which is why professional streamers get a second computer for streaming. You mean this? I have it. I have this. Uh, it's a bit dusty. It has a broken power button because I took it out of the computer to use, but then I broke it. And it has like four gigabytes of RAM. I'm sure it will be a beautiful computer. Okay, it's not crashing. So, conclusion: Unity is broken. You can't really changing SCP names because it's BIOS and description and more SCP names. What? Now screw it. More times. You're gonna have to build the game every single time you want to test something. Yeah. Okay. Where did my oh I don't oh here. What we are doing today? Today scene system because as I as you can see I can manually switch these. Crap. Like I can manually switch these scenes. So yeah, now we're editing the warhead and now we're not. But that's not how it's supposed to work. Actually, you need a really bare minimum since all you'll do is encode video. Listen, a cell can do a lot of things. Also, I need a capture card. Eh, I don't want to buy a capture card. Also, like... This computer is like running some Intel, Intel Pentium from 2007. That's nice. And it also doesn't have a, like any disk. I need to buy an SSD or something. Uh. I'm going to turn it into a server, although at this point I don't think it's even... <laughs> it will be good enough for that. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, currently, there is no scene system. We cannot change between those. And I'm not sure how to integrate that. Hmm. Okay. I think this has been done for me to close the game window. Uh, yeah, I I'm not sure where we could have an ability to change Pentium. Well, of course. Well, obviously. Self capture card, you could try using some sort of remote desktop. Gent. What do you mean, Pentium? Intel Pentium. 
You are not cassetting into this. This this exists. Yeah. Processory. Proce <coughs> Pentium. Pentium inside. Install a light with Linux to show on it. That could work. I once did that on a laptop because it was so horrible I just installed Linux on it. Uh, it didn't support most of the applications I needed for life, but who cares? Sim system that will be able to switch between those. Somehow. I'm not sure how. Use that by the way, that's great. May I please present you a great fairy then? Hold up. Set this as your profile picture now. <laughs> that was a bit pro. <laughs> okay, scene system. Uh, how will we switch between that? Even like a really lazy version for now. Hmm. Uh, let me just launch this application again. Unless we will try updating Unity and see if it will crash even more. That would be funny. They've released a new like under the new their new pricing, because that would be amazing. Where could we have some kind of a way to switch scenes? I mean we have this bottom bar on the bottom that's bottom bar on the bottom. We have this bar that doesn't really get used, but why do you have that on your computer? Well, I had to draw it for a video. In the first five seconds of the newest video. The first 10 seconds, there's a... Hold up. It's good. We are, we are gonna be watching a Doc Frankenstein video. Reject all. Piss off. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, look, 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 look. Here. I had to draw this. That's nice. <laughs> and that's the story how I learned how to draw fairies. <laughs> Where can we place this? You know what I mean? Like, some kind of a way to switch between scenes. Okay, let me just... I was thinking of something similar how I made here. Okay, uh... So you can have multiple groups of items here. So you can see I have, it like, a group bar at the top. But I'm not sure if that would be a really good idea. What is their old profile picture? Piss off! Text at the left side for buttons. If the Prime Minister was in WhatsApp, exactly. That's what I was going for! And no and no one ever recognizes that. I did show him the... I, I, I showed so many people this scene before the video got released and they were just like, What does that mean? Huh? And the live stream is like two seconds behind the audio, not just the camera. Shh, shh. Twitter X. Oh, hold up. And then we have text to speech chat, I forgot. Hopefully, you won't abuse that. Oh, thank you. Now, if you speak, you shall speak with your own voice that you share with the rest of the chat. Oh, I just had a terrible idea. You unzip, you go to the urinal, and you touch yourself. Lovely. Maybe a bit quieter. Okay. We need paint for this. We need paint. We need paint. My idea. Or jimp. Jimp? No. Paint. My. Me. 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 Dia. Medias. We make a bar at the top. And you can switch between translation and scenes. This is an absolutely horrible way of do going about this. I have no mouth, but I must scream. 
That's a reference. But like alternatively, I was thinking about just redesigning how this is even supposed to. <sighs> yeah, I was just thinking about just changing the design because currently you have all the things in here, and then you have the inspector here, I guess. So I mean, like maybe the preview would be here, and then right here, this entire page would be dedicated to entries. This entire page would be dedicated to scenes, which would solve a lot of problems, although not really. Alternatively. We could have so that the preview is here. It's like the preview window. Then we have. I feel like making this in Unity was a mistake. I know, but I had to make with Unity, which is not good. The main reason I'm making this with Unity is that. Uh, well, I want people to also help me while I develop. I have been pinked. Was that a, is that a scammer? Maybe. Uh, I was thinking like maybe having a preview right here. And then uh, because this portion of the time is just used for typing. And why shouldn't there be like a entire dedicated section for typing like right here, for example. And then right here, this would be how uh, the scenes would be here. And then the entries would be here like previously. It require me to rewrite a lot of things. But that is that is an idea. Hmm. It's currently like the, the, it will be a little bit hard to work with currently because the inspector is made so that uh, like it expects it uh, it expects to be like this thin bar on the right. So if we were to make it right here, then suddenly all of the things would be really if difficult to navigate. If screenshots and modifies files, it could have probably even be a web app. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, like most likely. Although, there's one thing like right here. This is a really big problem because I cannot like align this text to be perfectly aligned. Aligned to align. So, what I was thinking, we would generate a quad to fill this space, and this is where the subtitles would go. Uh, not the subtitles, the, all of the text would display. You know what, let's... Firstly... Hubert Mosca said the game works. And he's... Anyways... So yeah. Maybe, instead of trying to figure out this complex UI garbage, we will, before we do anything, we'll just simply make a way of display or deform text in 3d that's the idea for today okay how do we do that mm -mm -mm -mm. script ui i guess it's gonna be we're gonna call this script how are we go gonna go about this okay i know you can generate geometry in unity so we'll generate a quad to right here and uh, like th this thing would be flat it would just like we'll just move the corners of it to all of these places that we would specify and then on that we would render ui that sounds like a plan sure i don't know the form UI. Let's call it that. Who cares? Oh, crap. Project. I'm not making QA sick. Not UI. Okay. Show. How we're gonna do this firstly is that. Actually, let's make this public. We will have two points. Actually, it could be three points. It doesn't really matter. Vector three. Actually, not. What am I doing? I'm doing them. Top left. Top right. Bottom left. Bottom right. So, now we will be able to define points. 
I'm selling like a lunatic, but... restart the stream, it's hard to watch it. Okay. Now it should probably be better. Hopefully being the keyword. Hello! Are we in here? This is zero viewers, this will probably fix itself later. Deform UI. So yeah, now we will have a way of defining all of these corners. And actually, why will we here? Uh, on Gizmo or Andrew Gizmos. Selected, because we're gonna go insane. And yeah, now we're just gonna draw points in the... Wow, nine viewers, hello! Uh, so, this method allows us to... It gets called whenever... Okay, it's almost good now. Piss off, it's good enough. This method gets called whenever uh, Unity calculates gizmos. Okay, yeah, let, let's go back to this explanation. It's That's not how it works, but you know what, Sh sure. Whenever it needs to, whenever it searches for gizmos. Before it drew gizmos, it's... it's uh, it calls this method, and in here we can define different gizmos, which will populate our scenes. So, example, gizmos dot Joe sphere, and actually we're gonna just gonna put a constant float radius, and I'll set it to something like this: tl radius. I'm gonna set the color to be red because I because I feel like that. And now we can just draw a circle for each of for all of these points. Or actually, we're also going to we're gonna have to add transform to position. Yeah. And now, so I should probably just close this. Ah. As you can see, absolutely nothing has happened, which is a lot better than I would normally get. However, you can see that now we have a red dot, which we can place whenever we want. So top left would be somewhere in here, or actually we need to make this smaller. It's only a way of making it so that you can control them, but... Uh... Don't really know the re don't really know the way, so we're gonna just do with what we have. Okay, now we're gonna draw this dot right here. We're gonna place it in this corner. Ah, why is there another way to like change pre precision or something like this? Nine seven, sure. Can you hold shift or control or alt to be more precise, or is Unity not advanced enough for that? I don't think. Or at least. Oh crap! Ma Why? I did not even know about this. Oh wait, that's bottom left. That's not left. Oh, thank you. Wow. I don't know about this. Eh, where is the corner? It's difficult to see. Oh, whatever. We're, we're gonna wing it. Ah, crap. Sure. And now we're gonna have to use somehow these points that we've defined in order to draw a mesh. Doesn't make sense. So we're gonna draw a square in these places. Okay, this is definitely not aligned, but whatever. We're gonna draw a square over this. And then we will be able to populate this square with whatever we want. That's the plan. Update. And just a cheeky bricky little debug.log. I think if we put... Execute always. Then it will 
start spamming our console because it will also run in the Unity it editor. It will be a square or rectangle because the z-axis is not changed. Shh. What do you mean? I'm saying it will be a square, not a cube. I'm trying to make a cube. Okay, so how do we pop, how do we make geometry? Because I've never done this. Unity generate geometry. Generating has some. It would be a trapezoid. I know how to say these things in my native language. I'm not. Uh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Okay, what is this sprite shape con controller? Okay, we're not. We're gonna ignore this. Creating a code. Example. Ah, oh, I know what this is. Can't you create one in editor and manually align it? The reason why I'm making this here. The way <laughs> Is that I can't just have like a flat square. Hold up, let me just show you an example. Quad. So what we are doing is not this. So we have a quad. Or... Excuse me? Hello matey, where are you? Uh... Oh, I know what's going on. Why not this? Just make it 3D. But that's the problem. We don't know how to align this. Okay, so. We, we, I will even show you a live... Pro oh, never mind, I'm not. Or actually, I can. Add up. Scene. So, if we were to try, like you suggested, getting this squad and trying to align it, by rotating it randomly, and suddenly we run into the problem of how are you supposed to align this? Holy crackers! I needed to do this for a video, and it took me forever. And having to do all of this, and if not would update the game, we would also have to redo this again and again. So, what we, instead of doing this, what we are doing is taking all of... Okay, uh, we are instead... Hold up, where, where do you change this... Uh... We are taking the wireframe, as you can see, these corners, obvious, one, two, three, four. We are taking them and positioning them around these points. Do you understand? This is why we are doing this, because normally, yes, that would be that would be amazing. That would be the best way of going about this. But we are working with a picture, and aligning something that picture would just be impossible. This is why we are doing it this way. Saying to remove this. But how will the text look like on a flat mesh? How will the text look like on a flat mesh? What do you mean? On this quad, we will just put a texture of the text that will be generated using using a render texture. It's like normally how you would do. No, actually, no. That that's not how we did, did this here. But generally, whenever you display a uh, UI, or not UI, when you display something. On a mesh, on, on a 3D model, well, we're gonna do the same thing. We have a 3D model, we have a thing to display on it, then we're just gonna plop it on. We done. Job done. That's the idea. Okay, how are we supposed to do this? Huh? Huh? Oh, add component. Yeah, sure, that's gonna be amazing. Okay. Okay, I see it now. If the text texture is transformed to fit into the mesh, then it's fine. Yes, that's the idea. Mesh filter. Oh yeah, lovely. Just add component to everything because that's that's amazing. Serialize field, mesh renderer, mesh renderer. And uh, 21 making tools like this just 
just use on reset so every single time we add a script the reset will be called and we will just we'll just automatically assign everything that we need and now as you can see an awake Mm, we will create a new mesh, I guess. I guess. <laughs> mesh, mesh. We'll create a new mesh. At the end, we're gonna just put the mesh folder to be mesh. Mesh, 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 mesh. Mesh, mesh. With mesh. Mesh is mesh. Yay. Mm -hmm. Okay, to run this example. Vector free vertices uh what am I doing? Vertices will be called new Mesh 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 mesh. Mesh mesh. I am being dumb. This is weird, I never do this. Um, so I think we will just use this? Is that right? Wow, we can do this. I didn't actually think we could do that. Okay, we have our vertices. Then we can just match the vertices. Ver this vertices would be equal to vertices. Thank you, thank you. Trice, which is supposed to mean triangles, I suppose. Lower left triangle, but actually top left, top right, bottom left. Okay, I, I know you're supposed to do this like somehow like clockwise or counterclockwise. Shouldn't you use set vertices function? Uh, is there one? Okay. Why are there two? You know what? No, we're gonna follow the example because I know Unity something will break. Okay, we're just gonna do this for now. Okay, we're gonna wing it. I'm just copying from Unity, it's gonna work definitely. Oh, now it's triangles. Oh, yeah, that's also in the documentation. And we need normals, which is, the, I'm just gonna guess, I'm not sure how to calculate that. And UV, oh, what is this garbage? Why is there so many things to set? Okay, please work. Gonna throw an error. It didn't, that's concerning. Uh this did not run. Why? Maybe it should be start. Hello, I means of using execute always we should use something else. I know that Unity is a bit stingy with this. Run. Nope. Execute in edit mode. Because I know there's like two of them, but one of them doesn't work for absolutely no reason. That didn't work. Execute in edit mode. Oh, no, execute always. And I'll put it here too. Why not? Work. Ah. I love. I love. Set 
setting vertices property feels weird, and it has getter and setter so setting vertices property is like calling set vertices function. Okay, okay. Uh, unity, unity, yeah. Uh, start in edit mode. Exactly, in a, no, but I need a forum because the documentation is lying. That's what I want. Execute in edit mode. They are using execute in edit mode. Are we gonna use it too? Nothing. You suck. Oh crap. That's all. Okay, this is two thousand eighteen. No, no. This works partially, so my idea is that we will do junky things, because that's what we are made for. So update. If mesh is equal to null, which I hope it will be, you run this. Work. <coughs> we are checking something. There's an outline here. And I think it's a little bit broken, but you know, hey. <coughs> Hold up. Shade it. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so. We are quite close to home, however. Yippee. Yippee. What has happened here? I love copying things from the internet. That never goes wrong. I did not fix that. Oh! I love being a soulless computer voice in your head. Yeah, you. Okay, uh, uh, zero. Maybe we're gonna reverse this. I don't know how to do this. Okay, so this is one, this is zero. And this is one, this is two. Why is everything so weirdly formatted? Why? You're just being quirky at this point. Oh, because I don't think it's a resetting, isn't it? Oh, I did not think of that. Please say this works. What problem are you having right now? It's facing the wrong way. I'm not sure how to detect whenever the editor unloads things. It'll be lovely if, there, if Unity's methods would actually work on Sim GUI. Okay, so. I think the shaded side is supposed to have counterclockwise vertex indexes. I know, but it's not the thing itself. I cannot. Or maybe? No, it's still not gonna work. Oh wait, no, actually, that doesn't make any sense. Then I should just... I'm being really confused by this one.
Okay, so on this trait doesn't work, but on disabled works. Let's see, will we get a third smiley face? We don't, so on disabled is for the win. And I guess in this situation, we can just put all of this in on enable instead of doing whatever this is. Because it should work probably, because I don't know at this point. Okie dokie, smoky. <coughs> we did it, yay. But there is a big problem now. Oh. Uh -huh. So. Z fighting moment. Ah, uh, th that's that's not a problem really. But what's the problem is that. Actually, hold up. If I would just move this closer, just move this closer. Yeah, that fixes a lot of our ish problems. But we have a problem. Problem number uno. Uh, it does. You see, if we were to populate this with text, or yeah, if we were to populate this with text, after a while it would start to overflow. And it would be cool if we could like, because in SL, this will make it so that text would be outside of this area, which we currently uh, do not have access to, because we are limited by the quad. We cannot be bigger than the quad. So my idea, so like some kind of an option. To increase the size of all of this. Somehow. Oh, uh, how do we do this? Hmm. You know what? Screw it. For now, as you can see, if I edit something, it doesn't update. So let's make it update. Validate public void update mesh. A lot of this code right in here is going to be placed right in here. We're gonna update the mesh right here and on validate we're gonna update mesh. So every single time we change something, the mesh should be updated. Hopefully. Subtract left vector from right vector and add or subtract the resulting vector to the left and right vectors. Uh yeah, that's what I was also thinking, but that's seems like effort. Uh what is going on? So message can be called during awake something something something. Uh, so pretty much, it's just being annoying. Well, actually, hold up. I don't think we need to do this. Yeah, like, if, if we just assigned it once, then it should just work. Never mind. So I guess we need to do it here, but then the unity will complain for absolutely no reason. Hmm. Well, welcome to Janic Station. Update next. F update. What? <laughs> change mesh next update. If change mesh next update, we're gonna set this boy to false and we're gonna update. I'm sorry, but. In Unity UI code, this is you mean to do this so frequently. You don't even know. This is junky, but this is how Unity calls their own garbage, so it's the right way. Yay! Realize the most basic effect in all of filming. To a shell, so that's lovely. Let me gobbly wobbly jobbly. Uh, let me focus on you. Why are you so slow? Yeah, thank you. This is aligned so poorly, I cannot even begin to just. 
Bottom left, I think you're the biggest culprit in this. And in here. This is this is just this is the definition of winging it. Still looks a little bit weird. So it's weird how like this is technically not drawn in the correct place. Like it's offset by a small amount. Oh, don't tell me. Huh? This is the what is go my camera is being weird. Okay, uh, we were... Uh, ha ha! I had the camera slightly rotated and that's why it looked weird. Okay, now I can actually edit this. Your left camera is perspective, and the right camera is isometric. Uh, yeah, but no, actually, it's isometric now. You can change this by just clicking here. So if I select this and this and... Hey, we have an isometric camera! Hello! Crap, wrong one. Never mind then. Okay, you know what, like, we're not gonna work on this right now, because this is gonna, gonna be done with all of our tools. Once we have every all of our tools made, then we're gonna, actually, we're gonna actually worry about this, but now we're gonna figure out we are gonna, we're gonna, never gonna give up. Never give up, never back down. Okay, so we need to change how this works because currently everything every scene is just on one giant canvas but that's not how it's gonna work how this is gonna work is that it's there's gonna be a bunch of smaller canvases and then yeah every scene will be composed of it most of the time only one canvas and some is this weird quad thing that's what we're gonna do now show make an empty object never back down never what Exactly. Scenes. Okay, reset this boy. Can we have Brian voice? Brian, I I'm not sure if there's. I don't think I can. Oh, that, that doesn't even work now. Drop down doesn't work. Oh, lovely. You're st you're stuck with your own with your voice. You cannot change it. Let's see, how do I call these things? Warhead top. No. Huh? Oh. I'm being dumb. Warhead top. Main, main, menu, main, info. Mm-hmm. We're gonna create one canvas that we're gonna reuse everywhere. Or actually scratch that. Oh wait, this is Oh no, that's actually good. Okay, so... Huh. You know what? Sure. Let's give it a small test. Johnny test. We're gonna do a little bit of a test. Preview camera. Okay, so pretty much... Uh, how can I... Crap, here. So, uh, if you can see the white square, and we are filling it with the contents of whatever is drawn here. But in order to actually uh, like register whenever you press something, we need to like have this weird raycaster thing I called it a while back. 
I'm not sure how it will gonna work with multiple canvases. Hopefully it will not explode too often. Hmm. Okay, time to test it. Let's see if it will explode. Uh, not gonna launch the game because that never ends well. I'm gonna quickly build it. Because Unity is not cooperating today. Unable to play load player assembly user. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, firstly, I'm being dumb. Okay, I'm being dumb because I've copied the wrong scene. Okay, but secondly, why is it that the camera is not just? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Preview canvas right here, as layer UI. And these don't, and the camera only registers UI, I think. Uh, 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 uh. Where do you set this? Coin mass, I know it's... Okay, no, that doesn't make any sense. It should see UI, but it doesn't. I mean, it should see the quad, but it doesn't. You can see we have the preview camera right here. Why is that why is that even a feature? We have the preview right here, it does not see this quad for whatever reason. It's gonna clingo, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna worry about that later. For now, we're just gonna copy it here. And we're just gonna test if, it's, if uh, interaction still works, if I can press things and they will actually update. Control B. I'm used to working with Stride now, I, I keep wanting to press F5 for building games. That's not how it works. You press Control B because at Unity we are special. Made with Unity! Yay! <gasps> I can press things. Okay, so this works. So my code is flawless, pretty much. I can press buttons. Something that we are not able to do. Why this doesn't this work anymore? Is it update? Nope, okay, there's something broken, but I'm sure that's nothing. XD. Okay, so second problem. Why isn't this quad being viewed by this camera? Why? You're being weird and quirky. Hold up, we need to, we need to go into the 3D view. Oh, crap. Oh, you can do this? Holy crackers. Okay, that's kind of weird. I was working with DaVinci for a while. I forgot how you... Okay. Oh, I think the quad is just literally outside of the camera view. So if, if we were to just... Move it backwards. Eh, I fixed it! I'm incredible at my job. Wait, so how far is this moved? Let's see. Okay, so if we just move it like oh minus 0 0.5. No, that's the that's the camera. Hold up. Okay, you know what? Let's just name it so that we won't get confused. This is the sign. Sign content. We're gonna move it to 0. Point, you know, sure, why not? Now it's gonna be drawn properly, hopefully. Oh, that's not the version. Oh, it's this really fun. I, I have two SL copies right here. G give away, give away. 
This is really funny. Why? Where did Jack go? Why, why can't we view him anymore? Oh, he also disappeared from here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, because it actually went past the... Huh? Uh, what is zero? It's behind. Why? Why is it slightly moved? Oh, actually, no. This is not slightly moved, but the, the quad is somehow rendered slightly behind. Also, this is a little bit confusing. Mm. Main canvas, please disable this. Yeah, like it's sighted behind. You can see it is here, but why is it behind like that? I think there's something pro there's problems with me geometry. I think we wing this a little bit too hard. Oh, I might have a game fury. My game fury has been proven false, or actually maybe not. Okay, never mind. Uh, so, we are not supposed to add position right here. And all us was well. This is messed up like always for absolutely no reason. Thank you Visual Studio, I love you. And so for some reason now when I create scripts via Visual Studio it doesn't work. Minus 0.05. Oh. And this should be plenty enough. And now when, when we actually build the game, it's gonna work. Holy crackers. Build the game. It's not a game, it's an application. Whatever. We're making an application in Unity. It's already confusing. Ah, uh, don't remind me. We have a white. We have a Mr. White. But it's affected by lighting, which is not good. Who thought it was a good idea to build 2D interface in 3D space? Oh, crap. I just realized. How are we going to interact? How are we going to select this? Huh. It's like, you know how, uh, for example, in here, I can click on those and select them, and they will automatically be selected. How are we going to do this in 3D? Because this is not UI anymore. As we will put like a dummy, like object for selection. It would be really janky, but that, that could work. Oh, no, that wouldn't work. Oh, that's, oh, this is horrible. We need to somehow raycast whenever we click, and if we click... My Polish brain is crying. What? Okay, now it's probably. Let's figure out Why how. Why is it so hard? Because we're making this with Unity for some reason. Once we get through the first hurdles, it should be better. Okay, how about we figure out how to draw things on this? My idea is that we will have a canvas underneath this, oh, but not that kind of canvas. Uh, uh, constant pixel size or world space camera or just world space I don't need that actually I guess there's absolutely no point no yeah it doesn't really matter doesn't even matter how hard you try keep that in mind and the Because I think we actually need a camera, which is kind of sad. We need a camera for rendering this, because we cannot just render UI just like that, for some reason. Oh, this is becoming confusing, and I don't want it to be confusing. That's even worse now. So pretty much, we would need to have a separate like UI right here with a separate camera that would render the things in that UI 
and then plop them right here. But what happens if we have multiple signs and suddenly we need to somehow utilize the space in two different places? Which is just weird, just gonna get weird and annoying. That's a really drunk way of doing this. And the perfect assertion would be to just have like a... Because we cannot have two cameras in one place. Because they would keep like intersect... Those three UI elements, those three UI canvases would start intersecting and we would have a lot of visual glitches. And those cameras would keep rendering the same thing. It's like, we could do it that way. Huh. I did not think this through. Normally I have... Like, I think streams before I actually start making things... Before I start making things on streams, I actually think them through, but I did not do it in this case, so I don't really know what to do. This is just being confusing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Unless there is some kind of a way to just... Unity... Render UI without camera. Canvas without camera, please. We need to have at least one camera. I need a texture. Oh, unless it's an in screen space over. Oh. Actually, let, let's let's test something. We will have two cameras. Uh, how do you create a new camera? Camera. We have two cameras. Screen space camera. I think this camera. Okay, and on this canvas, we will just place a big white image. When I select this camera, it shows this, but when I select this camera, it shows nothing. But technically, it should see the same thing, but it doesn't. Okay. Okay, I'm overcomplicating. This actually will work. Okay, that's amazing. If I place it here, will Unity be mad at me? I hope not. Oh, I just created Perpetual Mobile, didn't I? Oh, let's not do that. Uh, okay, how about... Oh, this is even worse. What has, what has that happened? So I can't have them in one place or else they will explode. Nice. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to make a prefab. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you know what we're gonna figure out later. Okay, so now when we have the camera, we need to, this script to take the render texture, create or actually create a render texture, get this render texture out of this camera that renders the UI, and then plop that there. <laughs> Solid color black because we are like that. Clay mask, uh, whatever. Actually, nothing. Oh, I guess except UI. Yeah. Projection. But you know what? We're gonna have to make our own new layer. Or I'm not sure if it's a layer. We're gonna make a new one. Anyways. Tags and layers. Tags. Nope. It's layers. Yay. Uh. How do we define this? That's not a good name. Mm. Uh, UI... Ah, oh, piss off. Deform UI 
kan. Amen. We're gonna only look for default UI cam. Means that it will see absolutely nothing now. But we will change this to be on layer whatever this is. Yes, change children too. Yay! Okay, now to figure out how are we supposed to draw things on this camera. Render texture would be nice. Should we find our own render texture or should it be automatic? I think we're gonna go with the automatic road. Show in here. Serialized field. Camera. Camera. Cam, sorry, but because we cannot have that because Unity doesn't like us. And now we will be able to assign this camera. And now we need to figure out what to actually do. Show. Uh, 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 on enable, we will create a new render texture, which is going to be right here. RT. Retweet, retweet. We're going to create a new render texture with the size of who, God knows how much. Hmm. Uh, depth of 4, because I think that's a number that people used. I forgot how you're supposed to do this. And this is gonna be... Rendering. Yay. Public vector to int size. And just by default, it's gonna be 1920 by 1080. Because why not? So I guess we're just gonna have to wing it again. Because we love winging the things on this channel. Uh uh uh. This dot x, this dot the y. Okay, we'll have a new render texture. And cam dot render te texture. Texture, active te target texture will be equal RT. Yay! And now we need to somehow update the material. How can we actually do this? C sharp. Render the texture to material. Similar texture to material. Okay. For mat. Isn't it supposed to be Unity and not C hash? Ah, Google figures it out. Main texture would be equal RT. Hopefully this will not explode the entire engine. Do you see the... Oh, such a small little... Ah. <coughs> so firstly, it's upside down. Secondly, it's in the wrong uh, aspect ratio, but that's understandable because we just assigned it random garbage. But it works. Okay, what has happened here? It's not how it's supposed to... That's one thing, so you can why is it upside down? 30. Let's do some SL font. Uh, actually, which operation, guys? Oper is, what? No, operation. Ah, I used, to, I used that funny translation, my brain is going insane. What was the thing that was used there? Hey, what was this font? What is this font? 
I need to know what this is silo. Oh, it's like a normal font. That could actually be it. Silo. Silo. Get out of two view. Silo. See, the, let's disable the sign for a second because it's being an oh no, never mind. Hmm. Silo. Shielo. Uh, we cannot hide it. Oh, that's not good. Or you know what? We can we can just do a little bit of a cheeky bitiki right, right here. Oopsie, not this one. Yay, Shilo. Shiloh, uh, that's not the font. It's gonna be a different one. Uh, this... Or maybe. Actually, yeah, because it's really closed up, but I think it's pixelated. Normally. Uh, that could be it. Right here. Yep, that's the one. Oh, it's the mono. Really? You are so uncreative as well. And yet I steal all your assets from you. Okay, so we're gonna center this. Wrapping disabled overflow. Overflow. Shut up. I don't know. Increase the size. Shilo, 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 Shilo. I'm not sure what would be the size for this, but wow, this works. Uh, so, my idea we need to make this texture unlit. Do I owe? Do I owe? We need to create a new material. Material. Create material. Or actually, let's create a folder. Ah, uh, not not here. Dumps of garbage. Materials, and here we will create a new material. Material. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Unlit. Oh, what is unlit? Unlit. Yes, color. Or actually no. XD. Unlit texture. So we're gonna have want to have a texture. Now in here. Rendering. Public material material. It's at this point I think we should just like do a very simple check. F mesh filter. Actually, what are we doing here? If mesh filter dot hmm, yes, material is material. Yes, I agree. Okay. Mm, yeah, that's right. F material is equal to with the smaller let letter. Why do you need to put it in a variable? Uh, so that instead of using the default one, we will be able to use a different one, which is unlit, and that's what we want. So now, still here. It's not using. Uh, Hmm, why are you not updating? <gasps> it's working! See, it's unlit. It's not lit. Oh, crap. It's setting the texture right here, which is not how it's supposed to go. Uh oh. Material. Assign a render texture without changing base. 
Being textured by script. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about here. Okay, no, they're not talking about what I want. Unity material. Need to write a shader? No! As there's like a way to copy materials without being. Be. Render texture without changing base. Render into part of the no, nope, that's not what I want. Render texture transfer and back. Okay, so current, the current problem is that if we would have to have multiple of these signs, uh, they would be all be using the same material, which is not what we want. And somehow change the texture without changing the. Hmm. I have it in the asset store. Sure. Change material texture for single object. Here. How about this material property? I have no idea what this is. Huh? Okay. So, what you're saying is that what is texture ID? Huh. Work with the canvas render. Yeah, but I don't care. I could instantiate, but not. Really, I don't really want to do this because it seems like there's a different way. Huh, how would you go about this? There is absolutely no examples because why should there be? Whoops. Unity. Material. Texture. What are you talking about? One material per individual face. What? <laughs> What's texture ID? Tell me! Holy crackers. How can I add multi texture or ah. Holy crap. 
I'm this is how you go this is how we fall asleep. Holy crap. I do not need any lullaby, just <laughs> just give me unity documentation. Uh hmm. Okay, to be quite honest, I am barely holding myself together. <laughs> so my proposal I'm gonna figure this out offline. And then next time we stream development, then it's probably gonna be implemented and I'm gonna explain how I did it. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I have the mental capacity today to actually figure it out. It would probably take me like another half an hour just googling this stuff because yeah, why why shouldn't why should Google just tell me the results? What was the point? It could it could show me me I don't know twenty different unrelated things. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm dying. I'm dying. Although honestly, I'm quite surprised with the progress we've made. Because I did not expect to go as far as we did today. I uh, still don't really know what's going on with Unity just suddenly hogging all of the memory. Like, excuse me, your name isn't Google Chrome. You do not have the right to do that. Uh, but one thing I really want to do for this project is to update to newest Unity. Actually, you know what? Let's Google this. Uh, Unity. Uh, wait, what happened to their website? Oh, that's even... Okay, like, uh, sorry. Unity has such a cool website. Like, you didn't have all rounded corners. Everyone has rounded corners these days. They had something created. They had squares with slightly rounded corners. It had, like, a style, and now it's all just, like, generic thing. And suddenly there's this thing that just makes me sick. Like, I'm sorry, but I actually feel a little bit dizzy when, whenever I see websites like this. It's suddenly, like, oh, you, you're not scrolling. You're scrolling inside for absolutely no reason. What is this garbage? What's the current version? That's what I want to know. Current version of Unity. 2022.3 LTS. Hold up. Uh, version of Unity without splash screen. You are dumb. It's now optional. Now? Three months ago. Oh, because that was when they announced it. Oh, crap. Oh, 2022 LTS will not have this. Oh, crap. They did not release a version of this yet. Okay, that's kind of sad. But once they do, I will definitely upgrade to this just because trying with that splash screen. Because holy crackers. And I do not care about monetization. Because, well, this isn't, this isn't going to be monetized. It's a tool for a video game. Anyways, thanks that's for watching. Uh, thank you for tuning in. As a good team. Bye bye. I have a bye bye screen right here. What is it? Bye bye. Look, it's purple. It's purple. Bye bye. <laughs>